Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be an uh, Aries uh, Sun, Moon and uh, Rising weekly tarot reading for a June 24th to June 30th, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we'll jump straight away to spread. Right. <clears throat> so the first card, which represents uh, Aries's topic of the week, that is to be uh, the Six of Swords, for what it seems, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that Aries have to face throughout the week in regards to the topic here. That will be the Ten of Wands, followed by the third card, which stands for the positive aspect of the week that Aries um, are going to have. Uh, that will be the world card, all right? And so the last one, which stands for the guidance that Aries um, are to have here throughout the week, we do have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> so once again, guys, Six of Swords it is the first one, followed by uh, the Ten of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the world card and the, finally, uh, and the final one, excuse me, that is to be the Seven of Swords. All right, so... I just by the very first glance upon these cards, it uh, looks like uh, Aries that uh, you throughout this week, um, <clears throat> June twenty fourth to thirtieth, uh, you will have to do something you you have postponed or to take a decision that you would uh, that you postpone until this very moment, for the reason being hoping that you don't have to go down that road or. Yeah, I don't know how you can express that in English, but in our in, in, in my language, it's like, you know, you hope that it's never going to come to this, all right? But unfortunately, it came or it is about to come um, up to that. So it's like, you know, the, the, <clears throat> the knife kind of touches the bone and th th there is no more room for you to back off from it. You know, you are as cornered as you can. Uh, and uh, for that reason, uh, it seems that that week is where you will have to make something happening. Um, I, it's, it's usually with the Six of Swords, uh, it's accompanied with rather a bit more drastic measures. Well, these dr drastic measures are because they are named drastic because nobody expects that you're going to do them, you know, but they haven't left you any chance or you, you know either the situation or the person that you are dealing with haven't left you any other cho uh, any other choice so yeah it's uh it's like it's, i don't know how to express it but it's like you know you hope for example that uh your relationship with your boss is going to get better and it never does and your boss does something additionally to what they did back in the days and that that, that was just the the he just take the cake you know and you can't stand that anymore so you, you have to do something about it 
So yeah, that was uh, that is about the first card here, which is the Six of Swords, and it's about traversing a, a threshold. Uh, it's always about traversing a threshold from the known position toward the unknown shores, mainly being forced because the position or the circumstances, current circumstances, are no longer either livable or satisfiable in any way. Now, the good thing about the Six of Swords, however, guys, is that in reality, there isn't anything that you can lose from that. I mean, meaning, you know, either walking away or, or provoking something different to happen because this card usually says that it is very unlikely that it's gonna get any worse than that. The accompanied card here that is to be the lover. So the formation, it is active supporters that we do have actually and uh, with the lovers to the six of swords it's just a confirmation that making this trespass or rather like making those bold actions uh, necessary actions literally what this looks like is that you need to have what it takes you know in order to um, improve your circumstances and as soon as you have whatever it takes to improve your circumstances and you do it of course you know uh, then it is likely that you are to provoke more harmony into your relationships and and more um how can i describe a harmony into life uh if you want to say it that way and as well many of your issues are to be resolved okay those trifling issues that are however stockpiled and there are a lot of them so they are bothering you constantly every day either into your career and either into your uh relationship or maybe into both places and finally you got enough of it and you decide that you have to do what you have to do you know and you do it and suddenly those issues are no longer relevant at all and now we go to the next card which is about the um the negative not the negative but rather like the challenging aspect of the week and that will be the 10 of uh, wands a very baffling card to be honest uh, that is because the Ten of Wands here points that you are going to have some additional strings. What I mean is that you will not be able to just simply walk away. There are going to be some um, either like promises or stipulations that yet to be uh, yet to be fulfilled. But, you know, however, um, your determination here will be a, a virtue. For a reason being that just being determined, you know, for you to improve your circumstances and making as, as much steps toward that direction as possible, it's, it's going to help you a lot. And uh, yeah, there are going to be some strings just to give you an example of it, you know. You highly dislike the job that you're working and you just cannot stand it there anymore, but you cannot just leave, all right? You have to put your notice and you need to work on notice. For a month so this is what i'm talking about here that you will know that you won't be able to walk away completely but just that partial walk away or just this partial um it's not even an attempt but more like a actions for partially achieving improved circumstances are gonna make your life as easier as it can be for the time being so you know my, what my point here guys is that you shouldn't be afraid if something doesn't suit you at all uh in your life in general relationships with family you know relationships with with love partners and etc etc or situations into career you just need to step up for yourself you need to speak about it you know and you need to lay down uh, if you want to say your conditions the accompanied card here is to be the five of pentacles so the formation it is a active neutrals that we do have and with the five of pentacles this card doesn't really uh, influence that much the reading it is only points here that the string itself is going to lose with time okay so yeah like i said at the start there are going to be a lot of small trifling issues and as you start making those necessary uh, steps toward improving your personal circumstances and I mean personal circumstances not cumulative meaning that because you decide to be happier into your relationship that doesn't mean that your actions are going to be in favor of the relationship you know some of you may decide that this relationship is simply a lost cause and uh, you may decide that you have to walk away from it but you cannot simply walk away from it 
for a reason being, I don't know, maybe you do have a common property uh, with your wife or with your husband and etc. etc. So there will be still something that is going to uh, hold, hold you tight in it, but just, you know, having the determination to improve your personal circumstances will make those trifling issues disappearing one by one in a rather rapid fashion. And so the positive uh, aspect of the week here, uh, Aries, that is to be the world card. So with the world card, it seems that uh, you are to make a, a major, you know, completion or reach a, a major insight. I don't know what kind of a uh, uh, manifestation this card is going to have into your life. But what you are to conclude throughout this uh, week you know, or whatever you do throughout this uh, week is going to be rather indestructible and is going to put a, a f I, will, I would say, final blow um, into the situation itself where it's going to make it rather irreversible, all right? So what I'm trying to say here is you trespass the threshold um, necessary for you to improve your circumstances, meaning you do whatever it takes and there is no going back. And that is actually a good thing, thing because those who actually leech benefits from you cannot really stop you. So that is the positive aspect. And additionally to that, the world card, it does point that once you finalize, you know, the whole process and you no longer work this uh, really irritating job, you're no longer with this abusive partner, for example, or with that highly negative family member and etc, etc, or a friend, then a new perspective emerges very, very soon. So even if you think or rather feel, you know, that's you are walking away from everything you have, well, you gotta guess again because your life afterwards, either all of a sudden or slowly progressing, will start worth living again. The accompanied card here that is to be the judgment, uh, the justice, excuse me, formation is a passive enemies actually that we do have. So, um, with the justice here to the world card, it kind of looks like a, um, it's very difficult to, um, describe it but it looks like a, a liberation from a certain uh, it's again stipulation and it's more like a responsibilities that were just lingering heavy on your shoulders okay and uh, it's like making more free space for yourself to do whatever you want to meet whatever you to meet whomever you want and in generally to do whatever um yeah, whatever you want. So to live your life the way you want to live your life. That happens after you fully detach, you know, and you fully improve your circumstances, which most likely ain't going to happen that week. But at least the very first steps and the process is going to be initiated. And that process is going to snowball further into uh, the future. So the next one, uh, or the last one that we have, that is to be the Seven of Swords, which is the guidance. And this card tells only one thing, you know, you got to step for your own personal rights, guys. Doesn't matter what your wife or what your husband thinks. It doesn't matter what your parents think. It doesn't matter what your colleagues think uh, thinks of you. It doesn't matter what your boss thinks of you or your friends for that matter. All that matters is what you think of yourself and what you think what you deserve. And you just got to get it. All right. Because something does not belong to the one that has a rights on it. Something belongs to the ones who takes it. And now it's your time. You got to step up for yourself, storm your situations and take what you think it's yours. The accompanied card here that is to be the Eight of Swords. So the formation, it is a active supporters that we do have. And this card points that I said it a couple of times before in videos here is that you are ignorant for the reality or for the truth of how the situation stands. Not because you don't want, not because you are stupid or anything. I'm sorry, guys, for the expression, but because you deny to, um, you deny to accept it. For example, I, I, I'm giving that example from these movies uh, that I'm watching, you know, on the TV. I'm not saying that that is everybody's example, but, you know, 
that kind of a family where, for example, the wife or the, uh, the husband is severely mistreating the family and the wife or the husband, the other one in the family, thinks that they are doing that for the greater good. Well, they are doing that for their day greater good, you know, but not for your greater good. So it's kind of like a, a situation where if the truth makes you free, then you got to ask yourself what the denial of it makes you, all right? So this, this is the reading uh, for you, Aries, and uh, for this uh, week, June 24th to June 30th, uh, 30th 2019. And the only thing that this, uh, that, that this week is going to require from you guys is to be courageous, to do what it takes in order to improve your circumstances. Because according to these cards, no one else is going to do it for you guys. It's, it's just how it stands. All right, so yeah, like I said, that was your reading, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.